Doflamingo was a celestial dragon. Now, if you don't know what a celestial, celestial dragon, dragon is, allow me to explain. These are the world nobles. A space AKA helmet. The biggest dickheads in the fucking world. Right. Brother, <laughs> and I mean, come on, bro. They ain't even hiding it. Look at them. They literally have dicks on their heads. They're dickheads. Look at that. <laughs> fucking alfalfa ass, jack jack ass shit on their head. Now, Saint Homing. Doflamingo's father decided one day, everybody, I have an announcement to make. I would like to go live with the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. All right. Now, this is a very big deal because the Don Quixote family are world nobles living in the holy land of Marijuana, basically motherfucking Beverly Hills. And Doflamingo's dad right. decided, I want to go live with the regular niggas because why not? And this is some of the stupidest shit you could possibly That's do. That's gonna because backfire Because everybody hard, hates surely. celestial dragons. Because they enslave people. They're assholes. They don't even consider themselves human. Because they are the top of society. So the whole right. family ends up leaving and giving up their celestial dragon status. And obviously Lil Delphi wasn't f***ing with it. Bro, He's gonna regret that decision Lil straight like, away. Daddy, where are the slaves? And why do I have on this peasant clothing? Oh, calm <laughs> down, son. We're gonna be living a simple, peaceful life now. Some bullshit. Now, it's very clear that Doflamingo's dad doesn't have an ounce of evil in his body, like the mm -hmm. other celestial dragons. He's a simple man, but an ignorant one, and he was about to get hit with a reality check. So the oh, next how day, bad him and Dofi walk into town. So his dad walks up to the vendor and says, I want to buy some apples. So the vendor's like, oh, telly home, brother. You must be new here. But this dumb ass nigga ends up saying, oh, yes, me and my family are from Marijuana. You what? So everybody shook. They like, what the fuck? If you from Marijuana, you a celestial dragon, ain't you? And this dumb ass nigga is like, oh, oh no, no, no. We, we used to be celestials. But we're human mm. now. And then it didn't help that Dolphin yeah, just started going up. off on everybody, calling everybody peasants and shit. So they was cooked. Because <laughs> later that night, they burned down their damn house. Oh, they was trying shit. to kill these niggas. They on some Salem witch trials type they shit. They did not mess Fire around. Oh my God. And burn them. So they end up running for their life for days. Because a dumbass daddy was so f ignorant thinking that mm. a celestial dragon could live with regular people and this man doflamingo was shook as a kid this man went from the top of the world to the fucking gutter him and his brother got beat for trying to steal bread because they had no money why people just laughing at him look at this bad bitch and a nigga with a panda head i'd be damned if i see a nigga <laughs> with a panda that? head laughing at me like look at little bro this One is piece terrible has a and they mama end up getting sick and she end up dying so at this point, Doflamingo rightfully so hates his dad, as he should. This nigga's an idiot. You broke, you stank, and now your wife dead. It can't get no worse, right? Wrong! The people end up finding them. And I don't even know if I can say this word on YouTube, so I'm just gonna bleep it. They them. These people start going off on them. I this is dog right here said, Hang that nigga now! I got the rope right here! And they so just dark. going off on them because they are celestial dragons. They hate them. It don't matter if Doflamingo's dad is different. You're still a celestial dragon to them. The people who treat commoners like garbage. Yeah. So at this point, this was the breaking point for Dofi. Everybody just stops and just looks at him. They could feel this little nigga's anger from down there. Then bro just started talking like a rabbit dog. And then it happened. The man unlocked his conqueror's hockey. And this little nigga knocked yeah, every running. single person out with his aura. <laughs> the copyright's gonna be unreal. <laughs> now you see, here's the thing with this. I'm not counting this as a charge. This is an act of self-defense. They hung his ass, hung his daddy ass, and yeah. his brother. So even Fair play. I think that's absolutely fun. That, that makes sense. His mind, he getting let off the hook with this one. So after that life-altering incident, Dofi mm. goes to this run-down ass shack and ends up meeting this nasty ass snot-nosed hunchback fat motherfucker. What's up with the oh snot on the character's noses? Nigga. What's it about? So this nasty Treble. SOB says, right. hey, So I heard you knocked out all those people with your hockey. Now, me and my boys will start glazing you. Get a Did tissue, man. It's right actually there. annoying me. So Treble gives him a gun and the Ito Ito no me. And this man, Doflamingo, right. did not waste Wampus, no time. But I know the he free, had so murder uh, on his mind. He went back like to his dad and said, fuck you all, nigga, and blew his brains out.
murdered his own father in cold blood right in front of his brother. And this right here was a good old case of patricide. There's going to be a rivalry between father. those two. There's so no way there is. That's his classic father, anime. He actually kind of brought his head mentality. back to Marijuana to try to get his status back. But they said, hell not nah, leave, peasant. So he ends up going <laughs> back to Treble. And him, Diamante, Pika, and Virgo said, hmm. Let's glaze this little nigga to the ends of the earth. And from that day, the Just Don like Quixote family was born. And they was not. But even no as a games. child, he's These flexing his looks. Do anything for Dofi. Take, for example, one day, Triple finds like Dofi beat unreal. up. So he asks him, Oh, my glorious king, what happened? Ah, oh, man, some guys roughed me up. I wish they were dead. <laughs> okay. These dudes find the dudes that jumped them. And Trouble comes up to him and says, You're the guys who roughed up Dofi, right? <laughs> that little runt. We were just teasing him, that's all. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, bro, we oh, were just teasing like, him, I the, swear. The Shut up. The they <laughs> was not playing <laughs> games with nobody. If Dofi wanted you dead, guess what? You're dying. If he wanted your turf, guess what? Get the packing. This man took racketeering to another level as a 10 year old at that. And this was the wildest at one. The age of Diamante 10, you know. finds bro and says, Oh, my glorious king, what happened to your knee? Ah, oh, man, I just tripped on a crack in the road. Oh. And where's this crack exactly? And I oh, kid you not, this nigga me. Diamante finds the crack in the road and right. says, Fuck it. I might as well level the whole town. So that's the entire they town. They There's no need for that. That's rude. And the from that day forward, the Don Quixote family was rude. feared. Niggas cleared the streets when they saw Dofi walking. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Ain't nobody safe. The Dofi trial. Okay. Exhibit A wrap up. Patricide. He's gonna be a lot. Mass destruction. I can't believe he blew up an entire town because of a crack. That was rude. Exhibit B. Yo, that was ready, A as well. I now shit. present to you Exhibit B. Joker. Mm. We now fast forward 30 years later. And at this point in time, Dolph Domingo is the most influential underworld broker in the game. And he is also one of the seven warlords of the sea. And before he became a warlord and they froze his bounty, this man had a whopping bounty of 340 million berries. Jesus. Now imagine if the nigga That's wasn't a, a warlord. God knows how high that shit would be. But anyways, we now focus our attention to Mock Town and specifically Bellamy. Now, as we know, before this even happened, Bellamy fought Luffy and got absolutely embarrassed. I One have shot seen this to clip. Be precise. I don't know. It looks like Bellamy and his crewmate, about him, who though. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot his name. I think his name is like Sarquis or Sharkisha or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> but it looks like they're fighting each other and having a falling out. But that is not the case at all. Because you see this nigga Dolphy sitting in the corner, controlling them with his string string fruit. And this man is pissed off for obvious reasons. Because this nigga Bellamy is trash. He got one shot by a human condom. And it was under what? Doflamingo's banner. The Bellamy pirates were under him. So obviously that is a hit to his reputation. So Dolphy said, fuck it, you useless piece of shit. And he lost once. And old boy like a puppet. And, and just slices him. disregarded him from his team like that. Had this man Bellamy begging for his life. And what makes this kind of sad? Let me give y'all a flashback real quick. Back when Bellamy was a straight young bull, bro used to look up to Doflamingo. He wanted to be just like him. I don't know why bro is a terrible influence. It must have been the drip of the ore or some shit. But Doflamingo <laughs> was his inspiration. But when they first met, Doflamingo clearly stated, if you ever lose under my flag, my Jolly Roger, I'm gonna beat your ass and make you unemployed. And well, the rest is history. But of course, Bellamy's still back Damn, in not life. having a second chance. Please, j -j 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 just give me one more chance, my glorious king. But Duffy looked at him like, Bellamy, how much you think my fit costs? Uh, 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 oh, I'm in 30, 56 million berries, broke ass nigga. Is that actually what he said, or is this just uh, out of context for so the sake man, of the film? So this man, got up, walked away, Sorry, and said, sake of the my fit costs more than your whole bounty. And I have absolutely no use for broke ass niggas and slices this nigga bro just assaulted his most notorious glazer while firing him at the same time well ain't that a hell of a way to get fired on your day off but we really don't even get to see a glimpse of how strong this dude is until the summit war aka the grand opening for the greatest donut shop of all time crispy aces so before the war crispy even aces, started you already right. knew bro was on time <laughs> i mean look at this bloodthirsty ass nigga bro hitting the oozy tongue <laughs> 
But the first victim of this man's bloodlust was none other than Lil Lors, big ugly ass boy. So Lil Lors is just stomping on niggas, trying to make but his way to save massive. El Donut. But this big boy ends up getting jumped in brutal fashion too. So it started off with Kuma, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was about to roast the shit out this man, but I just caught up on the manga. And after reading that backstory, I, I don't wanna roast you, bro. So even though you built like an egg with some damn chicken legs, <laughs> you off the hook, my nigga. So anyways- I don't know anything about that character. He looks goofy as hell. Or spazzing. And this man was so cooked. But he said, hell no, I'm at least taking out somebody with me. So he ends up aiming for Dofi, and bro just looked at it like, really, nigga? So bro ends up destroying the whole wall, but Brody ain't hit shit. Cause you see this the flying thinking he's Cardi. Hitting that bitch from the and he talking shit to him in that air too. What's wrong, pussy? The donut man is right there. And you the knew Ors was cooked because Dofi made this man see his backstory. That's how you know your screen time over. So Dofi me go amputated, bro. Cut that big ass leg clean off. And he just laughing his ass off and saying, this is what you get for being a dripless Neanderthal. And then Gecko Moria's hog back, bowling pin built ass. Hit him with that. <laughs> she, 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 she. And it was raps. Them boys murdered Lil Lors, but Doflamingo was not done racking up these murder charges. So later on, Viking Humpty Dumpty ends up pulling up and saying, Doflamingo, fuck you in that feathered ass coat, nigga. So bro runs at him and tries to swing at him, but he stops. And Dofi just started finger. talking shit, saying, What's wrong, water buffalo? Are you too mesmerized from all my sauce? And y'all already know what he did. <laughs> he hit bro with his strings. He wasn't moving an inch. So all these other dudes end up running up. And yeah, oh, he's um, going to make him kill his own men. And then, surely. Bro right here runs up. He gets his balls chopped off. And Dofi just started puppeteering this yeah, man. And making man. him kill his own men. This That's ultimate disrespect. Can you imagine Dofie going in with your brothers and sisters and then getting turned against them? Up, bro. And while bro is massacring these dudes, this man gives off one of the greatest speeches I've ever heard and everything he said in this speech is a hundred percent facts now obviously I can't play the audio but I'm gonna text it out for us we're gonna do All a right. quick English project real quick so here we go pirates Holy. are evil the marines are righteous mm. these terms have always changed throughout the course of history kids who have never seen peace and kids who have never seen war have different values mm. those who stand at the top determine what's wrong and what's right mm. this very place is a neutral ground justice will prevail you say of course it will whoever wins the war becomes justice <laughs> This motherfucker was cooking, okay, even though he's pure evil. He, he ain't is wrong. actually speaking legitimate facts, yeah. and you can't deny it. So after this, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Duffy just basically had a drip off of a crocodile for the rest of the war. So I'm just translate this whole conversation crocodile. for you. These names are unreal. Oh, hell no. Gator boy, my nigga. I got a proposition for you. You got drip. I got drip. You gets money. I gets money. So what you say? Tag team? Man, fuck you, you pink feather flamboyant feminine ass nigga. Oh, no, nah, <laughs> shut the fuck up with that fake ass gold claw. I know you got that shit from Timu. Fuck you. And fuck you, too. You tobacco loving, chain smoking son of a bitch. <laughs> Now, most of this fight sadly happened off screen, but hey, only Oda know how long this sauce off went on for. So fast forward all the way to the end of the war and you just see explosions in the background. And the reason why is because Doflamingo was jumping <laughs> the 60% body fat eggplant because he basically had an assassination order from somebody up high. But Moria somehow lived. I, I don't know how. But it don't matter, nigga. That's the still character a design for that now, guy. It's time to move obvious. three Literally years a boarding pit, later. As he says. And at this time, Doflamingo's criminal enterprise is thriving. This nigga is anime El Chapo. And I mean, this man did everything from arms dealing and gun running to massive drug labs. One in Punk Hazard and one in Dress Rosa producing smile fruits for Kaido and had none other than Caesar Clown cooking that shit up. And I kid you not, these smile fruits was fing niggas up. For example, take a look at Wano. Smile fruits hit Wano like crack in the 80s. This man is solely responsible <laughs> for supplying these niggas to cause a drug epidemic. <laughs> Look how this shit hit neighborhoods in Wano, bro. They thought these hoes was just regular apples. Hell nah, these hoes was laced and everybody was eating them, even the kids. And they lost all emotions except for smile and laughter. They basically ate Joker venom. Yeah, hell nah. The Don Quixote family needs to change their name to the Don Quixote cartel say, bro, he's got a whole So now we end up catching up with Dofi at one of his Dofi going on parties. There. Because you know what they say? There ain't a party like a Dofi party. And he gets a call from Punk Hazards saying oh young master the straw hats law and g5 is fucking with our product operations have halted 
So this man took extreme measures and basically said, Motherfucker, you think that's my problem? I got bitches here. Oh my God, Josie, <laughs> come in the water. <laughs> Hold on, ladies. The party's just getting started. Motherfucker, blow up the island. I'll send somebody to pick up Caesar's bitch ass later. Now, sadly, Doflamingo's plan to blow up the lab failed miserably because of Caesar's <laughs> dumbass. So this man was so pissed off, he said, fuck it. Niggas can't get shit done, so I'm gonna do it myself. So this man web-slinged all the way to Punk Hazard. So later well, on, while G5 okay. basically has the island under control, this man, Dofi, flies literally in, right. saucy as fuck, and just hits a superhero landing. And everybody mm. in G5 is stuck. Done, they like, oh my god, that drip! The aura is Doflamingo! <laughs> and look at this tip. I'm putting my weapons nigga, down straight away. I'm leaving. Over these midgets. Nigga, fuck being a drug lord. Go to the league! And Dofi ain't <laughs> waste no time. Bro said, The beat go off? Hey. Hey, open the beat go off? This man knocked out damn near every single soldier with Conqueror's hockey. Didn't even lay a hand. I still don't really understand hockey, but that seems very well, overpowered. He, he ends up webbing up all the other Marines' guns and made them oh, all aim at each other. And this man elegantly made them all shoot each other while hitting this saucy ass flip. Oh my goodness. Bro just murdered I don't know how many people, but he did it in the sauciest way possible. He literally so screamed and used begging the finger for his life. He like, please, I have a family. <laughs> Nigga, fuck your family. They should be ashamed of your broke ass. I know you don't get no paper. I know your bitch be fucking other niggas behind your back. You fucking knock. So what got so bad, Smoker had to intervene. But my God, this man got washed. Look at his sorry ass. He can't even land a hit. This is why you're not making Admiral, buddy. Look at him, bro, trying to punch him in the dick. Duffy looked at him like, whoa, slow down there, you freaky fuck. And this is how you know this man, Smoker, is washed. This man already breathing heavy as hell, and they only been fighting for 30 seconds. But then some of Smoker's men end up coming and try to bail him out. But bro tried to be chivalrous and save him, but ends up getting met with razor sharp strings and ends up getting flung. And after Jeez. Smoker got cooked, Dofi just got real disrespectful. He sat on bro, grabbed his face like your mama about to beat your ass and was about to kill him. But Smoker ended up getting the bail out of the century. Cause Al Kiji pulled up and said, all right, big dog, we gonna have to stop. And you see, Doflamingo was a smart man because he knows he can't win this fight. You think he's gonna fight a formal admiral and get embarrassed? Hell nah. Bro said, I'll take my leave. I got bigger fish to fry. And he that really fish, of course, away, is Law in the Straw Hats. And especially Law. Because these niggas got generational Before we chase beef. after my son, but the all right, that's fine. Be trial. Exhibit B wrap up. Assault and battery. Murder, mass murder, arms trafficking, drug manufacturing, possession, and trafficking. Exhibit C. That was only B as well. Oh my All right, God. Ladies, <laughs> so much. It is now time for Exhibit C. Corazon. So there is a reason why Law has mad beef with Dofi. And it all started 16 years ago. Now, when Law first came to Doflamingo, he was very sick. He had white lead disease and his whole family is dead because the world government decided to murder everybody in that town because they all had that disease. So they raccoon city that bitch. Now, Law didn't have that much time left to live, but Dofi kept him around and said, there's a chance that you might be able to live if you get this devil fruit called the op op fruit because you'll be able to heal yourself. Also, the fruit's busted. So Law ended up sticking around around with him, doing some piracy, robbing some banks, and of course, catching bodies. And Dofi's main objective was basically to groom Law to become his right-hand man. Now, here's where everything goes to shit. Corazon, aka Doflamingo's brother, Rosinante, basically told him, hey, little nigga, you got D in your name. And if Dofi figures out you got D in your name, he gonna kill your little ass. Because if you got the <laughs> big D in your makeup, name, you that, are a mortal enemy of the Celestial Dragons. And also, Corazon is a narc. Hey, I'm a rat. 
I ain't no snitch. He is a undercover Marine trying to take down his evil okay, brother. Right, so, so you can kind of see what this is. These two are basically opposites and the what ifs of a tragic outcome. Doflamingo wants to burn the fucking world because fuck everybody. And Corazon wants to do good in the world and basically stop his brother because he's a crazy bastard. So Corazon ends up yeah, taking nice Law around for like six like months trying to find a cure for his disease and getting him away from Dofi. Now, while this was going on, Dofi called them and said, Come back to the ship. We got a lead on the op op fruit and we can cure Law's disease. Now, with this in mind, Corazon decided, let's just go steal it so we can cure your disease and go into hiding. So Corazon gets the information from the Navy to where the fruit actually is. So later on, they end up getting to the island and Corazon ends up stealing the fruit. But at nice. the expense of getting shot the fuck up. So after bro got shot up, but Jesus, somehow nice. survived, he made Law eat the fruit. And after that, he told him, this is some important intel I need you to give to the Navy that's on this island right now. So while Law went to go search for a Marine to give the note to, he found one, but the wrong one. Because the Marine he gave it to was... Was Virgo, Dofi's undercover agent in the Marines. Oh, so Law so brought Virgo all the way back to Corazon, and Virgo was like, What the fuck? Corazon? Oh, you narc ass nigga. And Virgo ended up reading the intel and kicks his face in. And Virgo did yeah. not hold back. He beat the shit out of Corazon. And then after that, he beat Law's ass. So then after they get their ass beat, Dofi arrives on the island, and this man is dripped out of his mind and pissed because his own brother was a rat. And Doflamingo knew something was off too because those six months that Corazon was gone, the Navy was off they ass. And every That's time Corazon was shit. there, the Navy was there. So it was all over for his little bro. Dofi ends up setting up his birdcage over the island so nobody can leave. And he just went on a rampage until he found his brother, killing literally anybody and everybody that was in his way. I so understand he's on, the antagonist, the but he's so Corazon, They jumped the hell out of this man, beat the rat piss out of him, and played baseball with his body. Hold on. That's a rough day. And this was just horrible. This man Gladius went to his body and said, How dare you betray the family, you rat ass nigga? So after they jumped him, Doflamingo came up to him and said, Corazon, my baby brother, a fucking narc. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Corazon, you know how hard it is to kill your own flesh and blood again. And my God, it, it pains me to do it. But do me a favor, baby brother, and say a load of pops for me. This I'm man, Doflamingo, dumped about 10 bullets in this okay, nigga yeah, he's and done, murdered yeah. <laughs> his <laughs> own little brother he in cold blood. The, the Dofi, Dofi trial. Exhibit C wrap up. Piracy. Grand larceny. Murder. I can see why this video is murder. 40 minutes long. This is French for side. Exhibit B. Y'all ready, ladies and gentlemen? It is now time for Exhibit D. The usurpation of Dress Rosa. Now, Doflamingo, as we know, is the king of Dress Rosa. But how did he become king? Yeah, <laughs> you might need to sit back for this one. So, 10 years before the present, Dress Rosa was a very peaceful nation that knew no types of war and had an honest king named King Riku. Now, the people loved King Riku. They'd glaze this man to the end of the earth. But sadly, <laughs> this would change in a single night. So, on that tragic night, Doflamingo flew to the king's private quarters. So, he pulled up, woke this nigga up, and said, Don't even try calling for help, or I will slit your fucking throat right now. So, Dofi basically explained to the king that this land, matter of fact, this whole country belongs to me. And I finally come back to take back what's rightfully mine. So the thing is that Shit, the Don Quixote family position? used to rule over Dress Rosa about a good 800 years ago. Till they abandoned years? it and come became on, celestial dragons. And now Dofi is back to claim what's his. Now he gave the king a ultimatum. He basically told him, we can either A, I will take over this entire kingdom and kill everybody. Or B, you can buy my kingdom for 10 billion berries. Ten billion. So what's it gonna be, old nigga? Genocide or run your pockets? 
So obviously the king had no choice. He had to run his pockets, but he ain't have enough money. So for the sake of the kingdom, he had to send out his soldiers and beg the people for money. And obviously the people are confused. They like, but King Riku, we just paid our taxes a month ago. Yeah, man, this is some bullshit. I can't even pay my child support. I just got pregnant the other day. How am I supposed to Seems take like care of my UK child? Right now to so be King fit. Riku had to get on the Mine big kidding, screen, but, you know. get on all fours and said, please, we're broke. I know, it's shit, y'all just paid taxes, but fuck, we need this goddamn money. So the people said, you know what? Something must be wrong. Our glorious king needs help. So every single That's citizen they had people. That's a good community. every dime they had because they trusted their king because he ain't ever done them wrong. So everything seems to be fine. They paid off Doflamingo and they should be scot-free, right? Psych! In the distance, you see this man, King Riku, coming at them on a horse. So obviously the soldiers think, It's oh, doesn't feel right. Why is he? We got the money. You didn't have to come all the way out here. But this man, King Riku, is crying and he saying, can't control Run away. I beg your pardon. And the king starts slaying people and blowing shit up. And you already know what's going on. In the shadows, Do Flamingo is controlling this man and making him kill his people. So Dofi didn't tell the king, but there was a option that power is C, insane. and that was to do both genocide and run your pockets. And what the king menace. wasn't the only one getting controlled. Dofi decided to control the soldiers as well and made them slaughter everybody. And they didn't spare nobody. Look at this. This is a mama and her son. And this nigga said, pay your taxes. Look at this poor couple. This brother just got done baking at the- Killing the people you king. sworn to protect and you can't do nothing about it. And blow birthday backs out. That's and rough, this man. went on for the whole night. Now here's the part that's gonna make you sick. Do Flamingo and his crew are just up here watching this. And when the time was right, he said, all right, boys, it's showtime. These niggas hop down and knock out these soldiers, getting everybody's attention. And Do Flamingo says, greetings, everyone. My name is Don Quixote Do Flamingo, and I've come to save you. He's playing hero. Actually insane. I like the storyline of this. It's good. Now this is a straight homelander ass move. Bro Facts. made the king and his guards kill their own people just to come in and save the day. And this was the tragic part. He controlled the king and said, come on over. Make sure you look good for the camera. So bro jumps down and smacks the shit out this nigga on live TV in front of everybody. And just Jesus. off of that, this man just committed the greatest PR stunt of all time. Because the people are like, oh, oh my god, he, he, he saved us! Yeah, hell yeah, brother! And they chanted this man's there name is no stopping throughout this guy. the night Actually, while though. hoisting the king's body in the air like a trophy. And that night, Doflamingo mm -hmm. usurped the throne and became the king of Dressrosa. Now, after Doflamingo became night, king, you know, he started night. to do some even more evil shit. For an example, using sugar to turn damn near half the population into toys and making their families forget about them, forced these Tantata low niggas to basically be slaves and work in his drug lab, had some of the old soldiers become gladiators and forced them to basically kill each other. And apparently, there is no he stopping this man. Something with he wants something done, he, he gets it true, done. But a lot of people say it is. So uh, I'm just leave this here. Freaky ass nigga, he the 69 God. Freaky ass nigga, he the 69 right. God. Understood. The, the Dofi, Dofi trial. trial. Exhibit D wrap up. Blackmail. Genocide. Usurpation. I've lost count at this point. I don't even know how, how much he's Exhibit done. Exhibit D. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time e. for our final Fucking exhibit. Out. Exhibit E. The Heavenly Demon. We now set our sights on an island called Green Bit, just off the coast of Dress Rosa, and we are observing a trade, well, what was supposed to be a trade, between Law and Doflamingo. Now, Law took Caesar as hostage after Punk Hazard to get some leverage on Doflamingo and make him leave the Warlords so he would lose his Navy immunity. And also, Dofi needs Caesar to make some more of his Smile product. But tragically for Law, this plan failed miserably because Doflamingo was two steps ahead. Because this man used his Celestial Dragon 
dragon leverage on the government and falsify the whole story about how he left the warlords when in reality he didn't and he had this man law shook he ain't know what the fuck to oh, do so his whole plan no blew gone. up in his face Literally. so law was like ah shit well I'm just skedaddle. So this man Law got the running while Doflamingo was hawking his ass down. And it didn't help that Down straight, I'd be running as well. Trying to drop meteors on the nigga. And this man Law was fighting for his life in this jungle. Look at Dofi come behind him. Nigga finger sniped him. Brought this man Law to his knees. Then he came down and told him, I, that, that, you ain't going nowhere, little nigga. I've been waiting to kill your ass for 13 motherfucking years. And look at Dofi, bro. This nigga think he's Spider-Man. Out here just webbing shit up and throwing it at him. And I don't even know how long long this game of tag lasted for because we know how that dress rosa pacing was good god but anyways bro they ended up getting to the beach and while Duffy's chasing law he ends up hearing a loud ass scream and it was from the sunny from chopper nami and brooke being loud as shit and Duffy just looked over there with a big old smile on his face that like a creepy oh, smile. you dumb fucked up now so this man flew over to the ship Posted up on him, and Dofi was ready to make the Sunny the Titanic. But out of nowhere, here comes Final Form Simp Sanji out here yelling at this man like, "Stay away from my Nami Swan!" Like, dog, come <laughs> on, she not gonna let you hit. But anyways, Dofi did not take this fight seriously at all. Look at him, he got this big ass grin on his face. Then this man threw out his attack, backflip for style points, and told him, "Whoa well, there, buddy, let's not burn the coat. This shit costs more than your life." <laughs> Bro, had this man Sanji cooked in one hit. But Sanji started thinking he's to maybe creepy, he but he's got style. I'll give him that. If I beat Doflamingo, Nami Swan might let me hit. Yeah. So this man Sanji got a second win and started trying to kick the life out of this man. But Dofi just put out his hand and said, Time out. Bro, had this man Sanji just stuck in the air. And bro just looked at him and told him, The fuck I just told you about fucking up my coat. I already told your ass this shit costs more than your life. So this man charged up his overheat and he was ready to kill Sanji. But right when Dofi was about to hit him here come law with the room and he ended up teleporting dofi away from sanji and you could tell this man dofi had the intent to kill this man because he wow. had to throw the attack out and it landed all the way oh back shit in right Rosa okay just sure cut a building in half yeah Fair. buddy that's attempted murder you tried to put this simp six feet under so this man <laughs> law had to take this miniature big back big mom as a hostage so the straw hats could escape but later on they end up having a stand that's off on this bridge the thing, the and i kid y'all not this was not a fight this was a sheep coming to the slaughter. I mean, look at this man, Law. He running for his life again. Pop Doflamingo's just cutting the bridge in half and yelling at him like, what's wrong, pussy? I thought you was going to spin back This guy must have the but worst you still luck. a bitch. But Law at least tried something. He tried to throw all the debris at him, but Dofi just cut it to pieces. Then Law tries to come behind him, but Dofi hits a perfect parry, dodges the attack, then shatters this man's jaw with his foot. And the beating just got worse from here. This was like a parent whooping their kid's ass for being disobedient as hell. I mean, look at this. He came down and kicked the shit out of him again, then just started spamming bullet strings at him. Even took out his legs. Bro was literally rolling around and screaming in pain. And this wasn't even the worst part. Doflamingo walked up to him, lifted up his hand, and he slapped this nigga across Dress Rosa. Just by and, slapping him. Oh god, him this all. was probably this man's most savage moment in the whole series. Law is already cooked, but mm. Don Flamingo decided. Remember when you had lead poisoning, Law? Let's see if you remember how that felt. And he started dumping bullets of lead in him. And this guy's a natural menace. Nigga. Out here licking the blood. Hell no. And Law was done. He should have been dead. The amount of plot armor Law had in this arc is ridiculous because this is not the first time bro should have died as we will see later so now we fast forward a fat minute all the way till sugar got knocked out and all the toys turn into people again and the whole population turns on do flamingo because they realize Wait a minute, this nigga's an asshole he turned yeah, half the facts. population into toys brainwashed us and committed a coup d'etat get this nigga out of here so then the mm. one-legged demon kiros came in and cut off this man's head and everybody's in shock everybody like oh my god Dofi just died to a side character? Psych! Niggas thought it was gonna be that easy. Yeah, this man could use string clone jutsu. So he got behind Heroes and kicked the roof off of the palace. Good God, 
this man got some strong ass legs with them fucking leg hairs he got. So then here come Luffy trying to be a hero, even though he's a terrorist. Out here trying to hit that man with that Jet Gatlin. But the clone came behind him, blew his back out. Then Doffy looked at him, cocked back his fist and told him, get the fuck off my property, broke ass nigga. Hit Luffy so hard, probably made him even more stupid in the head. So he made mm. Pika throw everybody off the cliff. And at this point, it was over for everybody in Just Rosa. This man set up the birdcage, got on the big screen and said, people of Dress Rosa, I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know this now. I have fucking hated all you stinky ass peasants ever since I came to this fucking island. So now all you broke ass niggas can go fuck yourselves. So let's play a game. If you kill any of these bitch ass niggas on this board, especially that long nosed Pinocchio nappy headed ass fuck, I will make you rich. What do you say fuck me for? Oh, yeah. and you also have 24 hours before I destroy this fucking island. So this man, Dofi, sent the island look. into chaos. Jesus, this man yeah. started another genocide just because he got pissed off. So now it was finally time for the Malice at the Palace One Piece edition. Law and Luffy versus Doflamingo. Oh, I forgot. And Bellamy's here. Bruh. Bro was emotionally abusing Bang. this man the entire arc. We all know that Bellamy's this man's biggest glazer. So Doffy decided to use this man as a puppet. Look at Luffy. Bro tried to kick him. And Doffy just used Bellamy's face as a human <laughs> shield. He was straight up abusing this nigga. Then look at him. He put bro on some strings and said, dance, nigga. Go fuck up that walking condom for me. But Law and Luffy was just mad at Dofi for just watching him in that chair. So they hit that man with that Red Hawk team up. And Luffy really punched the shit out this man. This is the first time you see bro actually hurt. Bro mad as hell thinking in his head like, motherfucker, you know what just didn't get hit by this nigga in them broke ass sandals. So that man Dofi said, hell nah, you ain't getting away with that one, buddy. So bro started spamming them bullet strings at Luffy. Send his stupid ass flying again. Then he decided to stab the shit out of Law. Bro said, sit your bitch ass down before I beat the shit out you again, boy. Then he hit this man Luffy with a nasty combo. Bro launched him in the air, grabbed him with his strings, then yanked him all the way back to Bellamy, who he was controlling, and sliced him. Oh my goodness. These boys was really getting cooked by a man with a flamingo man, he, he coat and some so short ass capris. Don't, know so don't how. kick Luffy's face in again. So I get how he gets away so much. Jesus Luffy Christ. fight Bellamy, and my god, law. This man took probably the worst beating in the series right here. Just look at this. Dofi ended up grabbing Law, then makes them both somersault, crashing into the ground, and amputated this nigga Law's arm. Another Jesus. case where Law should be dead in this arc. But this next part is really when Law should have been fucking dead. Dofi walks up to him, puts the gun up to him, and tells him, die like the broke ass nigga you are. Then just started shooting this man over and over and over and over again. He no shot way. so many bullets in him, he kept on pulling the trigger thinking he had some more. And again, this is another instance of where Law should have died in this arc. He nigga cheated die. death <laughs> three times <laughs> just for him to get up man. and hit Dofi with a gambling knife. Bruh. And Law really thought he was him right here. He was talking crazy to Doflamingo and saying, Yeah, this is my get back for Korra, nigga. So he hits Doki with a counter shot, basically with all the power he has left. And Law think he done killed him. But no, this man rose from the dead like the oh, Undertaker. Shit. You want to know how this man survived that attack? He stitched his organs together with his string. Nigga gave himself surgery mid-fight. So Doflamingo is standing I over law, about to smash this man's head in and get a fatality. But Hold here it. come Luffy bailing out law. Nigga, how many times is law gonna get bailed out this fucking arc? Like, Too dog, many, you should man. be dead. This nigga law gotta be a cat or some shit because he gotta have like <laughs> nine lives or something. So here comes that Nika Luffy himself. Bro kicked off them dusty, busted, broke-ass sandals and transformed into this fat-ass balloon. So obviously when Doflamingo first saw all gear forth, he was laughing his ass off. Blood was like, what the fuck is this? Am what I supposed to be good? scared of you, nigga? You turned into a balloon. But Luffy was <laughs> done playing games. He punched the living shit out of Dofi. This man flew all the way down to the streets. And I ain't gonna lie, Dofi started getting dog walked. This man ain't felt so much pain since he was getting beat as a child. So this man, Doflamingo, went to his last resort. He said, fuck it. I'm already destroying the country, so I might as well turn everything into string. So he ends up using his awakening and just throwing buildings of just string at him. 
but Luffy still did not care. He flew over to this man and hit him with that Leo Bazooka, and Dofi went to flying and just pinned in the mountain. This fight should have been over right That's here, a lot but of power no, to be the plot kicked in because Luffy ran out of time on Gear Force. The man literally deflated right before he was about to finish him, and this gave Dofi enough time to recover, and this man was more pissed off than ever. He went on a rampage looking for this man Luffy. Bro started killing everybody. It got to the point where if you got in this man's way, you died. Then he started moving the birdcage in closer. He was about to wipe the whole island off the map. So then here come Viola trying to do something against this 69 god. And I'm not even going to waste no time on this. Y'all already know what happened. She got beat the fuck up. I don't even know why she tried this. Like Shorty, no. You out here getting your head smashed in. And then look at this, bro. He started hanging her by the string. I'm oh, guessing no, she's a soccer of one piece. This is she ain't doing nothing. Nah, buddy. You're done. You're done after this. We know you did it. The allegations had to be true, especially after this scene. You was not like us, buddy. This image is staying exactly like it is. And then you tried to make Rebecca kill her dog. Now, nah, this man, Doflamingo, is pure evil. This man is a sick ass nigga. So thank God Luffy finally came over and he said, hell nah, your ass is going to jail. So he charged up that King Kong gun and yelled at that nigga, take your freaky ass to impale down and blasted this man, Doffy, through the earth's crust. It about and it was over. Bloody time. Anime Diddy was finally defeated. So after this, they locked this man up in the depths of Impel Down. And this man should never get out again. But let's be honest with ourselves. Sometime He's sooner or later, out. this nigga's getting out. Somebody Fox. gonna make the call to Jayoma. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, with all these damn charges, this is why this man is on this round table. There should be no surprised. discussion. This is one sick ass nigga. So yeah, uh... Bro, that was absolutely amazing. Really enjoyed the video. If you also enjoyed it as well and you want to see more of this in the future, please make sure to subscribe, like, and do all that good stuff down below. It's been your boy Ashton. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.